हेलो गाइस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ फॉर लूप ओके सो हाउ वी मींस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज लूप लूप इज बेसिकली अ कंडीशन वेयर यू हैव टू एग्जीक्यूट अ पर्टिकुलर सेट ऑफ लाइंस मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स ओके सो नाउ दिस इज द सिंटैक्स ऑफ फॉर लूप नाउ दिस इज अ फॉर लूप फॉर मीन्स दिस इज द इनिशियल कंडीशन ओके द वैल्यू फ्रॉम विच यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द लूप ओके मीन्स द वेरिएबल and now this is a termination condition means the value at which you are going to stop the loop now these are the step values means uh, like uh, means the value with which you are going to increase the initial condition step by step means according as the program proceeds and these are the lines to be executed means the lines which you are going to execute multiple number of times and now this is the order of execution means the order with which the this loop is going to proceed now see like uh, first is the initial condition means uh, first of all the loop starts with initial condition like processing the initial condition first like if you put i is equal to 0 now this is the initial condition mean this is your initial value now the second is the termination condition now after executing initial condition the program goes to the termination condition in the termination condition uh, we have a particular value like i is greater than uh to a particular some value like p or i is less than to a value like p okay now the, the then the after executing the termination condition the program goes to the lines which are to be executed remember this thing the program does not goes to step value after termination condition it follows this hierarchy like from termination condition it goes to the lines to be executed in the lines to be executed like you have to find the sum of some numbers so you can just write sum is equal to sum plus a particular value like i okay i is changing every time so these are these are the lines you can have here multiple lines multiple lines can come here and at last means after executing the lines to be executed the program goes to the step value means the step with which you are going to increase the value of the initial condition like here i have written i is equal to 0 so here you can change this to i is equal to Uh, i plus one, like it will increase the value of uh, i by one, or you can write i is equal to i plus two. It will increase the value of uh, i by two. Now I am going to show you a simple program of finding the sum of ten natural numbers. First of all, I am going to show you in Java. In Java, what we do, we find out uh, first we have to create a class, the declare a class, the uh, public class for loop. I'm, this is the name of the class. You can write anything here, x, y, z. Then the second is the public static void main. Now, what is what are these words? Okay, public is a prototype. Uh, means uh, means all the uh, elements in the program will be available through this. Then void is that it is a non-returnable function. This I will tell you in further videos. What is a non-returnable and non-returnable function? Just remember that void means non-returnable function means this program is not going to return any particular value to other functions. Now main main means this program is this part of the program is the main function. Means uh, first of all, uh, before going to any function, the program automatically will come to this function first, mean the main function. Now these are the string arguments. This also I will tell you in further videos as uh, I am going to show you the basics now, not the advanced version. Now I am initializing some of the elements. Int is a uh, data type integer. Its value ranges from minus thirty two thousand to plus thirty two thousand. Now i is uh, an integer. integer type variable and s equal to 0 i have initialized s with 0 0 means that i am initially putting some value of s in 0 why i am doing so because in the program i will be using this uh, s variable multiple number of times that i will show you later uh, and now the loop the loop is for i is equal to 1 i less than equal to 10 i plus plus so as i told you earlier that uh, in first is for initial condition then termination condition then step value and the line the order which it follows is initial condition termination condition then the lines to be executed and then the step value so first of all the program will start with i is equal to 1 okay now what has happened is i have not initialized i with any other thing earlier so here i have to initialize it for uh, or it will take a garbage value uh, for i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to 10 means the program will start from i is equal to 1 it will check whether i is less than equal to 10 or not 
as 1 is less than 10 then it will go inside this okay then uh, earlier why I said the why I have initialized s equal to 0 because see here I am doing s is equal to s plus i means if I don't uh, specify any value for s earlier then here garbage value will be added to y and my program will learn compilation error or some other runtime or error okay so s is equal to s plus i so what basically is happening I will show you the dry run uh, like this is the i function uh, i, uh, i variable and this is the s variable now initially i is 1 s is equal to 0 now my program goes i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to 10 this satisfies so it goes inside now s is equal to s plus i so 0 plus 1 that is equal to 1 so 1 is going to be stored in s now the goes to the means this what is this step value for now this I told you step value comes at last so step value it will go here means i value will be increased by i plus plus is the general notification uh, notation for i plus one this is a post fix type of um, um, operator means the value will be increased later on so i is equal to i plus one also you can write now the value of one i increases from one to two now the it will go again to the initial condition now i is equal to 2 as i have shown you here now 2 is less than equal to 10 again the um, condition satisfy so now it will again come inside so now one thing that uh, until and unless this condition is satisfied the program does not uh, comes inside this loop it will terminate and then it will go to the further statements okay so like yeah so i is equal to 1 now i was 2 okay so 2 is i and s was uh, previously 1 so 2 2 plus 1 s changes to 3 now again the value of i will increase from 2 to 3 now again i is equal to 3 i is less than equal to 10 the condition again satisfies it comes inside here and then uh, I, s was earlier 3 and then i is equal to 3 so 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 now i value will again increase from 4 similarly the loop goes on until then we get 10 here means 10 times the loop will uh, execute 10 is less than equal to uh, function will uh, means work here and then it will again come inside so 10 plus the s which is after 9 we will get it here and then the answer will now the 10 value will be increased from 10 to 11 11 will be uh, i will come to 11 11 is not as 11 is not uh, less than or equal to 10 so the my loop will terminate and then after this the program will come here means system.out.println what system.out.println is um, we print this statement what we have to print we have to put it under double inverted comma and then we put plus sign here plus sign is the concatenation sign and then after concatenation we print s the thing which we have to print we put it uh, write it here without the inverted double uh, uh, apostrophe side and then we close the bracket and then the semicolon remember that semicolon comes in every step a step except these two and then for <coughs> then uh, yeah now my program system dot out print yeah my function uh, like uh, it will print this particular statement okay whole and then it will move the cursor in the means i will show you the id given uh, then it will come to the next step okay and uh, next line okay so here is a uh, Okay, so now I am going to show you how we run the program on BlueJ, which is a platform for running Java programs. So BlueJ is a freeware software, you can download it from the official BlueJ site. So now you have to create a new class. Now you can give it any name as I said you earlier, XYZ. Uh, remember that while giving, you can't give space between two names while creating a class. So we generally use uh, an underscore between the names. Uh, now this is my new class has been formed now I double click it and now there are some just random comments so delete them and now uh, write your program I have pre-written it so I am just copying it ok now I will compile the program compile is basically the uh, com the platform bluej will check whether your program is uh, correct or not ok so compile as you can sh uh, see below it is displaying class compiled no syntax uh, errors ok now close your uh, program now right click on this for loop thing and now select void min string args now click ok and now as you can see 
द सम ऑफ द फर्स्ट टेन नेचुरल नंबर्स इज फिफ्टी फाइव ओके द थिंग विच आई टोल्ड यू विल प्रिंटेड इज प्रिंटेड नाउ हाउ इज इट प्रिंटेड नाउ शो यू द वर्किंग पब्लिक क्लास फॉर लूप आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू दिस थिंग्स अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग दिस इज द लूप ओके आई इक्वल टू वन दिस इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू जीरो दिस कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड then it goes to s s which was initially zero so s is equal to s plus i means zero plus one is one so again it will go above i will increase by one means i will be equal to two which is again less than equal to ten so all these things will be executed ten times the eleventh time i is equal to eleven uh, this condition is not satisfying as eleven is not less than equal to ten it is greater than ten so my loop will terminate and it will come to system dot out dot print ln okay so now it will print it the first sum of the first and natural numbers is so what was printed now i am to going to show you how to write the same program on c in c we start with uh, hash include stdioh and hash include conio uh, dot s basically these two thing things are the input output packages okay um, what libraries um, libraries okay libraries contain some predefined functions which we are going to use in the program now this is the main function main function as i said you in java is similar to java it will be executed the first now it comes in the i i is integer type variable then the loop i is equal to 10 i greater than 0 i minus 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 now i minus minus is similar to i minus 1 okay now we write i is equal to 10 the initial condition i put is i is equal to 10 now i am uh, termination step i have written as i greater than 0 it will come inside it print f i so i is 10 okay i is 10 um, again showing you i is equal to 10 now to print f i i 10 will be printed then print f sends a cursor to the next line okay cursor is to the next line now the value of i will decrease by 1 means 10 to 9 now 9 is also greater than 0 so again print f 9 so 9 now it will terminate till go till 1 means execute 10 times at 1 again it is greater than 0 so it will, uh, till 1 it will be printed and now 1 minus minus is 0 since 0 is not greater than 0 so my loop will again terminate and my whole loop means my program is over so this was an easy program uh, further more advanced and looping structures will come so thank you for viewing and please subscribe for my channel